Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Ross with Stammer AI. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to get your scheduling information or your appointment data inside GHL. And so this is going to set up a automation sequence where you can add the appointment information into a automation flow, which then allows you to do certain things like automated follow-up, waiting an, one hour until the appointment or 24 hours before the appointment to be able to send emails or notifications to the user to remind them that, you know, hey, your meeting is, is being scheduled. So if we start off in the, uh, inside the AI agent that you're creating for this workflow, we're going to set up the scheduling uh, tab. And we can also add in uh, information from the leads form here. So for example, let's say we wanted to collect something like their phone number. We could go in here and we want to collect in chat and we're going to say what phone number. And so when you go through the sequence, it will, the AI agent will ask the user to give them their phone number, and then they'll be able to schedule the meeting, which will then ask for their name and their email address. And so the user will be able to have the conversation and get the meeting scheduled like, like normal. And then we can send all of that data to a webhook URL, which is how we're going to be able to send that data into GHL. And so the trigger step is going to be creating a new inbound webhook. And we're going to copy this URL right here. And we're going to go back and we're going to paste it in right here and click save. And we're going to make sure that we check the box for include collected lead data. And that's going to make it so that way any information that it collects is also going to be sent within this one single webhook. So that way it'll be super easy to connect and create a contact with all the information. So once you have that webhook set up, then the first action step will be to create the contact. And so this is going to be where you connect your custom values or the, the customer values to the values that you're collecting or the AI agent is collecting. And so the way that you do that is there's going to be an option for inbound webhook trigger right here. And we can go into the information for collected data. And for this one, what is your phone number? So we can see there's that field that we just created over there. So inbound phone number will be connected to phone. And then we're going to do the same thing for email and then the same thing for appointment start time. And if you don't have this appointment start time, it's probably because this is a custom value. So this will be needed to be created. So in order to do that, you go into the custom fields tab inside GHL, and you're going to create a new field by clicking the add field button. And we're going to create one called appointment time. And the type is going to be date, date picker right there. So that's, this is going to allow us to upload a date value when we set this appointment time. So the information from the AI agent is coming in through this webhook for the appointment start time. We're now going to add that information dynamically for this contact as a value for this appointment start time. And then we can then set the next action item, which is set event start time. And so that will be able to set it for this user in the workflow. And we're going to use the custom value from the webhook trigger. And that's going to set the appointment start time. So that way you can then use the wait steps and other steps with inside GHL that will be able to match whatever it is that you want to do. Like I said earlier, you could do the wait 24 hours, wait one hour before sending emails, sending internal notifications, sending SMS, text messages, whatever you have set up in GHL can be triggered based off of that. This could also be where you update an opportunity. This could be where you have other automations that are set based off of when somebody books a meeting, like notifying a team member to call them or whatever it may be. So yeah, that's how you get all this information inside of Go High Level. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.